In the previous videos we covered all the bases uh, regarding WordPress custom queries. So we did all the basic stuff, uh, we started doing uh, a little bit more advanced stuff in the previous video and in this video we are going to continue that trend and uh, we are going to be talking about text queries. So as you will see text queries are a way, uh, are a little bit more advanced way for you to query your posts via taxonomies, be that uh, taxonomies that you get with WordPress, so categories or tags, or even custom uh, taxonomies that I will show you how you can make and how you can query in this video. So in this video, uh, actually behind the scenes, I reverted back to what we had in the taxonomy video. So now we are displaying just categories and tags on our page instead of like we did in the last video, prices and colors and sizes and so on. So the HTML is pretty much the same, the CSS is pretty much the same. So now we are just seeing this and we are ready to get started doing some text queries. In the taxonomy video, if we wanted to show some posts with a, within a certain category, we would do something like cat, cat, and then we would do, uh, I don't know, let me just see, so the category of books has an ID of 15. So we would just do cat 15, save this, if we go to our page, we will get just this one post and uh, this post has this category of books. Okay, it also has category of cookies, movies and oranges, but it has a category of books. Okay, so now we get to the problem that we are going to solve with text query. What if your client told you that he wanted to show just the, let's say, uh, posts that have category of cats and tags of Joomla. So it has, it, it has to be in category cats and has to have tag Joomla. So you can do that with cat or tag in or something like that, but you would have to do a text query for that. And as you will see, text query is pretty similar to meta query that we did in the last episode. So what you can do is you, ju you just go and do text query. And then you open up an array, of course. Array. And then uh, you just open up another array, just like we did with the meta query. And in that array, first you define your taxonomy. So our taxonomy is going to be is going to be category. Okay. Then you would define the field that you wanna uh, look through the uh, through that taxonomy. So fields can be either custom fields or you can use slugs or you can use IDs and so on. So the default one is uh, ID, but we are going to use slug for this example. So you would do field, field and the field is going to be slug. Next what you need to do is define your terms. So terms accept an array and in those terms we can add some slugs in it. So I'm going to do array and then we wanna, what did we say? We wanna show the post that has category of cats and tags of Joomla. Okay, so we are go in that array we are going to say cats. Okay. And then uh, we can do something like, so this is one option you have, include children. 
and you set it to true or to false the default is true so what that means is uh, if you include children and you have hierarchical uh, categories so you have uh, I don't know <coughs> category movies and in that, that category movies you would have genres below it so movies is the main category and subcategory would be comedies dramas and so on so you can include those or you can exclude those so we would do uh, true for this uh, true is default and uh, but since we don't have any hierarchical uh, categories you don't even have to write this I just wanted to show you that you have that option and also you would do operator Open operator and the operator would be in not in or and so we would do in and uh, I think that in operator is the default one so you would say that the post needs to be in certain category if you did not in then it will show you all the posts that are not in category cats we will test that out so let's just save this and as you can see we get this result so we get all the posts that have category of cats we can of course do not in and then we will get all the posts that don't have category of cats so all the other posts as you can see none of these posts have category of cats okay so we will say in and just like for the meta query you have this relation property which can be either and or or so we will say set it to be and and I think that the and is default value so we are saying that uh, our posts have to be in category cats and in uh, tags Joomla I think we said that so cats and Joomla okay so I'm going to do I'm just going to copy this so that I don't waste your time and mine and then for this taxonomy is going to be tag and we are also going to uh, define a field to be slug so if we go to our tags and do quick edit you see that all of the tags also have slugs and we wanna uh, say that that slug should be Joomla include children can be false but tags can be hierarchical so you don't have to uh, uh, set this option at all and of course you do operator in and now let's just test this out okay of course this doesn't work because this should be post tag not tag and now if we save it and go right here we can see uh, that we get the post that has the category of cats and tags of Joom. Of course you can set the relation to be OR instead of AND and then uh, it would look for all the posts that either have categories uh, of category of cats or the tag of Joomla so if we save that we can see that now we get three posts because uh, this one has cats, cats and cats and this one only has Joomla okay so we don't have that many posts with Joomla so we can either uh, we can even have this so since we pay since we are passing an array right here we can define a few tags so we can say Ruby uh, Ruby and let's say CSS if we save it now now we get a little bit more results and all of these either have category of cats or have cat uh, tags of CSS, Ruby or Joomla. Now of course you can have custom taxonomies 
So if we go to our plugins and add a new plugin and we can search for a plugin called Toolset Types and install it. And once it's installed we activate it. Okay and now we have uh, these types right here so we can go to taxonomies and let's say we already have these built-in uh, taxonomies, categories and tags and we can add a new taxonomy and we can call it genres. So let's say we have a movie site, genres and now uh, the taxonomy na name singular will be genre and the slug is very important because by this slug we are going to call our taxonomy so the slug is going to be genre and it's going to be hierarchical so it's going to be a category type and uh, we are going to use it on post uh, on posts so save this taxonomy and now if we go to post you will see that we have genres right here so we can add a few of those comedy drama crime okay and now if we go to all the posts uh, we can go right here and uh, as you will see we have genres right here so I will just check comedy right here and I think we can even do this through quick edit so yeah we can say uh, say crime right here uh, comedy uh, drama and let's say crime for this one okay so now we have a uh, custom taxonomy so how do you call it well you I will just delete this right here and let's say we want to display all of the tags or all of the posts that are in category or in genre I don't know comedy so we will do genre right here uh, we'll co we will call it by slug or you can even call it by term ID we just have to see what term ID is comedy so comedy is a uh, term ID of 33 so we would do 33 right here save it and now if we go to our site we will have only these two posts so this these two posts are tagged or are in category or actually are in genre comedy uh, we can also add one more so let's say crime is number 35 and we just do 35 right here okay so we get a few more uh, results so as you can see this is the way you use your custom taxonomies and of course you can mix it with uh, regular taxonomies that you get with WordPress so you can go do taxonomy to be category and it's going to use field of slug and it's going to be dogs and we are going to set a relation to be end so we are searching for posts that are in genre 33 and 35 so comedy and crime and uh, that are in uh, category dogs so I don't know if we will get anything so we get these two so this is a bit more advanced way that you can use uh, your WordPress custom query to query the posts via taxonomies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, as I said in the next videos we are going to do some practical examples and we are going to uh, use all the knowledge that we did in the previous episodes to do those actual examples. First of all, I think we are going to be doing filters, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, 
so thank you guys for watching uh, I hope you liked this video if you did please like it if you like the channel subscribe to it follow me on Twitter or on Facebook and don't forget everything that we did right here is going to be available for you on github the link will be in the description below and that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one